Hey everybody, I would like to talk about the virtue of a tortoise. Tortai, if you won't. Uh, imagine a world, if you will, with tortoises everywhere. In your home, on the streets, in skywalks between office buildings, in the airport, people mover conveyor belt. Imagine tortoises of all sizes, even colors. Imagine a purple tortoise, an iridescent, glowing, phosphorescent tortoise. Two feet tall, slowly making its way down your street at night as you stumble home. Imagine looking out of your window in the morning to see a tiny hanging tortoise <laughs> with its silk thread, a little tortoise only this big, yellow and crimson, spinning as it descends from your gutter, reflecting the light of the morning sun off its back before it lands in the grass and tortoises off. And imagine that everywhere around, on the sidewalks and on the walls and along the corridors in our hallways of office buildings and institutions and schools, is grass that the tortoises can eat. Don't really have to mow the grass because the tortoises eat it. But they can't really eat it until it grows out, kind of bushy and fluffy, and a little bit on the way, in the way, and a little bit imperfect, not manicured, but eventually they, they come and trim it back so it doesn't interfere. There's just clumps of grass absolutely everywhere. And the color and nature of each tortoise is determined by the kind of grass it eats. And the grass itself is kind of determined by what's in the air around it and how it's fed and its sun nutrients based on its latitudes, longitudes, weather systems and the people around it. So that the tortoise becomes sort of a visual reminder of the specificity of your own environment and its changing nature. And a reminder that you are just another tortoise. So too, shaped in your own unique way and colored in your own unique way, going about your unique path in unison with all the other tortoise. That's not madness. That's not crazy. That's not trippy. That's what's going on right now. There's biology happening around us all the time. There are creatures of that uniqueness and color around us at all times. We just either compartmentalize them. That squirrel. No, we don't see them. They're microscopic. But we've killed so many of them, though we don't see them often. We're not around the larger versions because we killed them. Might be nice to have them back around. That's it. What is wrong with humans that they killed them in the first place? I don't know. I'm not sure why humans are humans. No human is. Because we're made by something bigger than us, whatever that might be. So we can't know why exactly we do what we do. But we do know that we can adapt. And one adaption we might do is just seven more animals around. What are tortoises, huh? Maybe the virtue of a tortoise is also to remind us of a slower pace. Maybe if tortoises inhabited our landscape on a daily basis, we might be reminded that we're not getting anywhere faster. The five or ten times we leave our home in a day, the tortoise makes one walk and ends up in the same spot as we end up at the end of the day. Maybe that's a nice counterbalance. Not that there's anything wrong with the pace of our world, but that it's good to balance it. I guess what I'm trying to say is I believe in a world of tortai walking around. And I don't think I'm a madman for dreaming of it.